Right, so this is an extremely random one, people. So uh, we're back with another episode of Meet the Owner of, and today we're going to be meeting the owner, who's just behind me there, um, of this Suzuki, uh, what's it called, Mark? Super Carry. Suzuki Super Carry van, right? Little little van with a big motorbike engine under the, well, it's not under the bonnet. We'll talk about that shortly, all right? Let's just get on with the video. You sure you don't want to get on camera? I'm good, yeah. It, it's a big moment. <laughs> look, I'll stand here, look. Yeah, you'll yeah, be fine. Stand you'll be on free. YouTube forevermore. <laughs> if you, you're welcome. So if you want to step, <laughs> whatever you want to do. So, Mark, I know we've met before, but good to meet you again. Um, we we met at my car show. I see yeah. you. I've seen you about a lot yeah. over the years. Yeah. Because uh, you've had this this Suzuki van for a long time, haven't you? So yeah. About nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Eight or nine years, I think. Yeah. So let's rewind to where the journey began. Sorry. Daughter, yeah? Yes. Daughter. What's your name? Summer. Summer. Yeah. That's a nice name, isn't it? Summer. <laughs> this must be mad for you. So you. I've just spoke to your dad about cars and stuff. So over the years, you've obviously, like, you you must have seen your dad have a crazy amount of cars. Yeah. Do you like cars as well? Yeah. So you go to all the car events with him as well? Yeah, just me yeah. and him, yeah. Really? That's yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah, my lad's got no interest. Oh, you can say you've got a boy as well and he don't yeah. like cars? He does. But he just don't like going out to shows? He, 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 he doesn't like it, the fact that Everywhere I go, everybody knows me, everybody, so I'm constantly chatting to everybody. Everywhere, <laughs> yeah, but everyone must want to talk to you, because yeah. everyone must be so curious yeah. to yeah. know the story behind this. So, um, so you're the owner of multiple cars, this is yeah. one I've asked you, I messaged yeah. you the other day and I was like, I need to do a meet the owner video yeah. on this, this van, yeah? So, you bought it nine years ago, was it, yeah. was it stock when you bought it? Uh, so when I bought it, the lad I bought it from had uh, already put the engine in there. Mm -hmm. um, it was a running van when I bought it. Yeah. Um, just the interior and that needed sorting out, bits and pieces on the outside. Um, but it ran. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, the lad who I bought it from, originally he bought it with a 600 in it. He okay. then took that out, built a bike frame, mm -hmm. bought it with a 1250 in it. Yeah. And I, I don't know what happened there, whether he just got bored of it or just... Yeah, did what he wanted to do and kind of got rid of it. Mm -hmm. So I bought it. Yeah, just took it from there. So when you bought it, was it this colour? This yeah, is like yeah, it was that colour. Rizzler blue, yeah. yeah? It was, I think it's actually a standard colour, mm -hmm. but it looks like Rizzler blue, yeah. It, so hence why I've done everything as it is a Suzuki van. It's, it's mad, just, yeah. It? It yeah. looks like it actually look. I thought yeah. you meant you'd actually had it painted. Rizzler no, blue. I think you sort of grabbed yeah, that thing. Yeah, I don't think it was that colour. I think it's been painted that colour. Oh, okay. It, I'm ninety percent sure it's a standard colour for that van. Cool, so you've bought it. Let, hold on, let's go around. Can we, can we open the boot? Can yeah. we get in the boot? I want to show everyone in the back of this, this thing because this is mental, man. This is like the showpiece, isn't it? Yeah. We'll talk about the, the sticker on the back window as well shortly. <laughs> um, so you've got a little mini moto in there, obviously. Yeah. So that, that is, yeah, that's just a matched colour that I had matched to the van. So they kind oh, of okay. so kind of match. So I, that's just a gimmick. It did run. It's got no fluids or nothing in there. Oh, so it's just there for show? Yeah, it's just literally there for Mate, show. Mate, that looks wicked. So I just stripped it, gutted it, painted it, and yeah, just chucked it in the back. Fair play. So, <laughs> um, and then if you come, you're not able to open the side doors, are you? No, can't open the side doors. Because it's got the little vent yes. on the side of the, side <laughs> yeah, of the van, yeah? Yeah, air vents, that, yeah. Them air vents, are, they're actually functional air vents, yeah? Sort of, yeah. They're semi-functional. They do they do a purpose, but... Okay. They're, yeah. I. They were in it when I bought it, just never connected. So I've I, obviously, I've piped it to an air You've box and it. yeah, just to try and get a bit more cold so air. So let's talk about what they're connected to, the engine, right? Yeah. So <laughs> initially this would have come with like a 700cc no, engine maybe? No, or... I believe this one would have been, I believe it'd been a 1300. Oh really? Yeah, I believe it okay. would have been a 1300. Um, I can't remember offhand what it was on the log book. When I got it, it was still logged as the original van. Okay. I've logged it as it is. Okay. So it's now logged as bike engine. Oh really? That's um, good. Yeah. So you've done it all properly. Um, I had to because insurance. You and you're out and about a lot. Yeah. You're not an idiot. Yeah, you're and right. I've got so many things that I kind of sat and thought about and thought if somebody hits me in this, mm -hmm. what's the insurance going to pay me? Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> you don't, yeah, don't two hundred quid. It's a it's a nineteen ninety one van. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. so I uh, yeah so I've 
Adam all insurance approved, so... Um, so originally it would have been, what, 70 horsepower? What would the, what would the power yeah, have been? Yeah, with that, 60 and, or 70 horsepower. And now it's so. got the GS, GSF? GSXF. GSXF engine. 1250 A 1250 engine, yeah. yeah. So it revs nice and high. It yeah. sounds incredible, yeah. doesn't it? I've just yeah. heard it <laughs> when you pulled up. We are going to go for a drive yeah. shortly yeah. as well, yeah? yeah? <laughs> um, I'm not looking forward to that, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best at corner, but it's, yeah, it's good fun. Okay, so uh, the engine is situated just behind the passenger seat yes. there. Um, it's rear wheel drive. We, yeah, the, the engine is pretty much situated where it originally was, just opposite way around. So the, originally the engine would have been between the seats. And then the fuel tank, that's another massive feature, isn't it? It is. Why? I mean, if I was doing it, because obviously that was in there when I bought it. Yeah. And I'd have probably done the same thing. Mm -hmm. I did think about taking it out and putting a fuel cell in there. Yeah. But it just, it adds to Mate, the- it, that is so, yeah. I really like that. When you said I had a fuel tank in the back, yeah. when I opened it yeah. and saw it, that. And from a build point of view, um, I would say that the reason that the lad did it was because it's in tank fuel pump. Yeah. You've got all the wiring harness there. So it's just easy just to bolt the tanking so when you fill it up you've got to open the side door no tip the seat forward oh do you so it looks bizarre when you go to the petrol station yeah <laughs> <You're> <laughs> opening the front door yeah, and... yeah oh my god how much fuel does it hold i suppose uh, i filled it last night and do you know what i run a motorbike and full tank used to be about a tenner now it holds about 24 quid oh uh, right but it does um a few miles yeah it does a few miles That's on it right. yeah so BHP, how much power is it running now, roughly? I don't know offhand, but I would say between 120 and 150. Okay. Um, I couldn't tell you to be. You got any idea what it weighs? Uh, I think it's just under a thousand kilos. I it's think. It's got to be well, yeah, yeah, well short of that, surely. Yeah. And it's rear wheel drive, yeah. yeah. It's rear wheel drive yeah. in the region of about 130 yeah. horsepower. Yeah. If you were to yeah. sort of find an average. Obviously, it, like I say, it's it's a detuned GSXR engine. Okay. So. It, it's, it's still, not, yeah, it still goes, but it ain't, it ain't got the grunt of a booster or. Mate, uh, do you I'm know what still mean? super curious to see what it's going to be like. The sound of it is yeah, unbelievable. It's got it that is, motorbike yeah. exhaust yeah. poking but outside. You, yeah, but you can't hear any of that when you're in it. All you hear is induction noise. Oh, and, yeah, really? It's, That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, you, you, to, to hear the exhaust, mm -hmm. you have to stick your head out the window. It's really? It's bizarre, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, it's bizarre. Cool. And what about the gearbox? Is it a, so a motorbike gearbox? Yeah, so sequential gearbox. Six that is, sequential, yeah. That's so cool, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That hence, is why, hence why you've got to push it backwards. Because it's got Cause no, it's got yeah, no reverse. We just parked here with yeah. quite push, push yeah. power, didn't we? Yeah. It has no reverse um, gear. I have started to, to do reverse gear, but um, I kind of got annoyed with it because I couldn't find room to fit a starter motor and I just shelved it and yeah. So it's on the agenda yeah. at some point at, soon. At some point, yeah. But, Brilliant, <laughs> but man. But it don't bother me pushing it. No, no, no. Um, it's cool. People, character. Pe yeah, people think it's funny when you pull up and yeah. they hear it and then you get out and push it or your passenger gets out and pushes it backwards. It's, yeah, uh, <laughs> no. Which is normally one of my lads from work. Um, come, yeah, come with Luckily, me. Luckily, it ain't too heavy, is no, it? No, but it's not heavy. Like, you saw, it's easy enough to Yeah, push. we just give it a little nudge um, and it was sort of fine. It's, uh, yeah. Cool. Should we do the wonderful bit and get out on the road yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. Going to take it on the road. Let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, mate, this is. We've got a little bit of headroom in it, though, haven't we? Yeah. It's cozy. It looks so close. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> Seatbelt on for definite. Yeah. <laughs> So, we've got plenty of fuel in here as well, haven't we? Yeah. And this obviously displays what gear we're in, yeah? Yeah, yeah I put that on there, yeah, so we've got gear set to, yeah. That is amazing, man. <laughs> that is so cool. Right. Let's do it, mate. <laughs> this is random. This is so strange. Has it got power steering? No. <laughs>
here, yeah, let's go right here. It's gonna be a bit bumpy down this road, so we'll, just, we'll take it a little bit easier, B. <laughs> it's so cool, all this, yeah. I love all this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 